guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video which is all about the best setting powders for oily skin. I've had a bunch of requests to, uh, you know, do this topic for you guys and show you my holy grail ride or die setting powders for oily skin. So if you are interested in seeing that, then please keep on watching. Now two things quickly before we jump into this video. There's something really weird going on with the YouTube notifications at the minute. Down below next to the little subscribe box you will see a little bell icon. If you click that, you will be notified every time I upload a new video so that you won't miss out. I've been getting a lot of tweets and messages and Instagram DMs and stuff from you saying that you're not receiving the notifications for the videos. So if you click that little bell, you'll get them. And the second thing is, guys, I'm leaping into the world of live streaming. Me and you, face to face, legit, no editing. And I cannot wait. We're going to go through my makeup collection. I'm really excited. I am using the We Chill app to um, live stream. It's a really easy, it just seems like really straightforward. So I think it's a good place to do it. Um, I will leave a link in the description bar for you to download the app. It's it's not like it's not like a huge app. It's not really going to take up space on your phone, but I'll leave the link down below. And my first stream is going to be on Wednesday, the 14th of December at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's actually, you'll be watching this video. So this will be tomorrow for you when you watch this video. And that is equivalent to Australian time. Um, Thursday the 15th of December at 11 a.m. So yeah, I'm really excited and um, in my first, I mean I'm going to be doing like lots of it like coming up but in the first stream I think we're going to go through my makeup collection because I've had so many requests like for updates and things like that. So yes, just wanted to get those two things out of the way and now let's jump into the video. The first powder that I wanted to talk about is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Now you're going to have to excuse mine. It's very well loved and the case is filthy. Um, this is basically a very simple pressed powder that has mattifying properties. I will say one thing with this, you do have to be careful not to apply too much otherwise it can make your makeup appear cakey and I actually prefer the color um, version of this as opposed to the translucent version. I just find that it sits better on my skin. So this one helps to control oil and will also help minimize enlarged pores. It's very, very affordable. It's great to just chuck in your handbag because it's just a little pressed powder. You can use a little powder puff and you can touch up on the go. This is definitely not one that I can chuck on in the morning and then leave all day and not have to touch up. No, 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 no. Um, but it does a great job at touching up. It absorbs any excess oil when I do touch up with it and um, it's just really simple. So yeah, the Rimmel Stay Matte. Next up, another drugstore one. This is the Maybelline Matte Maker. Um, this is again another mattifying powder it says flawless looking coverage matte finish I certainly don't use this to um, create coverage on the face I didn't realize it was even intended for that is it intended as a powder foundation no, it doesn't say that. It says mattifying powder. Anyway, um, this is another very basic powder. This one is beautifully finely milled. Um, doesn't leave any extra texture on the face. I can, like, you know, I mean, this is a weird analogy, but if it was, you know, dark and I had a brush and I had this and I basically had to smash it on my face and, you know, if I was going to worry about being cakey, this will not make you cakey. I know that was like a really weird way to explain it. Again, super, super affordable and also easy to chuck in your handbag because it's just a pressed powder and if you pack it with like a little sponge, you're good to go. Next up, I've got the NYX HD pressed finishing powder. Now I did want to stress, um, I only like the pressed version of this. The loose um, HD powder doesn't really do too much for my skin. This stuff is amazing. You pair this with um, Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and Estee Little Double Wear Foundation and you top it with this. Girl, girl, you will be matte for like ages. By ages, I mean about seven hours. <laughs> but that's good. That is really, really good. Next up, I've got the RCMA No Color Powder. Now, this is technically drugstore price, but I don't think it's available um, in drugstores. I will put some links down below for you and where you can purchase this because it's not really an item that you can just go into a store and buy. Now, this powder says, no pigment, no perfume, no fillers will never alter your foundation shade or natural skin tone. It will set your makeup with a flawless finish that won't cause flashback. This stuff, despite, you know, coming in kind of, well, to me it looks like the same dispensing thing as like a spice, you know, like cinnamon or something. Um, for something that's so plain, so, you know, no fuss, no fancy stuff about it, this stuff is the real deal. This is amazing. So I can actually apply this powder in the morning so I can go in with my primer and my foundation. I can put this on and not have to touch up for a very, very long time. I can get a whole day's wear out of this 100%. It is so smooth. It is so velvety. It's so easy to apply. You can accidentally put, you know, like way too much on and you're not going to have like this big, like ghastly white cakey thing on your face. It's a very 
basic but very easy and simple powder to use. I absolutely adore this um, and I am so excited that I finally have it and I'm finally getting to use it. And you know, the strange thing is it lasts forever. I've had this for ages and I've used like literally this much. I think it retails for about $12, so it's definitely value for money. But guys, if you are searching for like the perfect oily skin uh, powder, definitely check this one out. Moving into the higher end uh, powders now, I'm going to start with the Illa Masca. Now this is the loose powder. I think it's just their loose translucent powder. Um, again, it's completely translucent. This again is extremely finely milled. It feels very soft and velvety on the skin. All of these loose type powders are perfect to apply with a damp beauty blender. And if you do use that technique, you will find that it lasts a lot longer than if you go in and apply them with a brush. Now the thing about this one is if you really, really hate perfumed products, this one has got a very, very slight vanilla scent to it. So, um, you may have an issue with that. Um, easy to apply, non cakey completely translucent, won't alter your foundation underneath, it doesn't cause oxidization or separation or anything like that, and this will keep you matte girl, like, amazing, like, amazing. Next up, I've got this Chanel powder, and people always think I'm crazy when I talk about this. This is not a product that's targeted to oily skin or problem skin or anything, really. This is just a loose finishing powder for foundation. Yes, it's pricey. I'm 100% not going to fib about this. This was an expensive product to buy. I have had this for so long though and oh my gosh, this gives your skin the most incredible finish and I mean it's a matte finish but it's not like matte as in, you know, a mask or, you know, very dull looking. It's matte but healthy at the same time. Is that making any sense? Is that making any sense? But um, I find that when I use this over my foundation and if I set it properly using a damp beauty blender sponge or, you know, any kind of blending sponge, I will go in with this. You know, I will pick it up on the sponge and I will like literally use it like this to set my foundation. The finish is absolutely incredible and it keeps me matte. I reckon I can get, I reckon I can get a good nine or 10 hours out of this powder easily without having to touch up. Like this stuff is legit. Now, obviously bear in mind when I say, you know, the wear time, I am using really good primers and foundations for oily skin. I've got videos and I will link them down below for you on, you know, the best primers and the best foundations for oily skin. Um, you need to, you know, really use a routine that suits you and other products that suit oily skin. But guys, and I bought this by accident. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I did. I remember now I meant to buy the bronzer and she gave me this and it's changed my life ever since. It's one of those like accidental... You know, it's just like a hidden blessing. <laughs> and then lastly, the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. This tops all of the other powders in terms of oil control and mattifying power and duration of foundation wear. This takes the cake out of all of the powders. This tops them all. If you've never tried it, I highly suggest getting it. And I think... I mean, it is expensive, but it's not crazy expensive like the Chanel, but oh my goodness. So this is like matte. This is like oil proof. This is like, girl, and girl. you could run a marathon with this stuff and you're going to be fine. Again, my favorite way to apply this is with a damp sponge. You will get way more longevity out of the makeup and way more oil control. But other than that, you can go in with just like a powder brush. Um, if you are going in with a brush, definitely pat it. Don't wipe, don't, you know, like scrub or swirl or anything. Just pat it into the skin. This is going to be your best friend. Absolutely your best friend. So I hope that video helps you guys out a little bit. I've had a lot of requests lately for the best powders for oily skin. These are my babies. I feel like we're family. They're just all here and I'm like, hello, hello children. <laughs> so I hope this has helped you out. If you've got any further requests, questions, comments, anything, please leave them down below. I love you guys all so much and don't forget to join me for my live stream. I'm kind of nervous but excited. But I will talk to you guys then. Okay, bye!